Hello, good evening and welcome to the Chronicles of Captain Pontos. Oh, I forgot to look up what episode this is. Possibly episode 54. Oh, uh, that's the wrong notebook. That was the work notebook. Uh, this notebook it is 54 and 118 overall. Ha! Yeah, so we've been going for some time. Um, this is the 54th episode of the current arc, uh, otherwise known as the Chronicles of Captain Pontos. Um... Who would like to have a go at reminding us what happened in the previous session? Which was not last week, but the week before, I think. Mm-hmm. Um, very quick recap on this one. Um, we... We were... Um, let me just check, make sure I don't over it. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Yeah, we uh, restocked, rearmed, um, went back to um, uh, Fairwick, uh, Carrick, uh, basically, he blags a lot of gold and, and uh, forgets that he was trying to um, sweet talk the Lord's uh, daughter last time we were there. Because uh, he's got bigger fish to fry now, because he's, he's looking to uh, uh, get a, uh, a notch in his belt for killing a god. We then got on our ship, started sailing around, and then this tiny, tiny, tiny little fish just we could see just uh, started getting bigger and bigger and bigger and we got in a little bit of a skirmish and we're in the middle of it and it hurts indeed the party are currently fighting the leviathan um i'm gonna try and get a good view on it there we go. Oh, we need to zoom out a bit so Ooh. that that is visible on the thingy. There we go. So the the fiery conflagration, which is the the refitted ship, um, the the orcs of Grimrock um, did a number on it and put some cannons back on it for you. Um, there is a harpoon in the Leviathan. So the Leviathan is kind of currently towing the ship uh, in the opposite direction, but um, I think uh, what's his name? I think uh, Borin tried to put another harpoon in it, but failed. I seem to think. Now let's get the turn order out, which is very very confusing because I have got an awful lot of things in it, and for some reason it's got. No, that's my plan for this turn. Oh, well, no, okay. Very well. So, it is uh, Yorl Strandweaver uh, is mm -hmm. turn first. She is on her magic carpet and floating. So, yeah, well, fire first, away, Kev. First things first, I will use my uh, bonus action. Just make sure that is. Yep, to move my my hand. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to go this way, and I'm going to use a different ability that I normally have to do for my hand, and I'm going to go um, interposing hand. Look. The hand interposes itself between um, you and a creature you choose um, until the hand... Oh, it's only between um, me. Sorry, I, I thought it was... Okay, so I'll just I'll just move it up to there. It was somewhere go that way. That's fine. I was, I was trying to use it to uh, give Carrick some cover, but I, it's between me and uh, the target. Very well. Okay. So, that, uh, it's not one ability I often use, so uh, I'll just and and then um, I'm gonna go with something fairly. Um, mundane for now i'm just going to go to there in, in fact i will still keep with the interposing hand so basically it has disadvantage on attacks if the hand is in between me and the creature and i'm going to do a um firebolt at said mcguffin very good uh, da, 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 da. oops i didn't mean uh, to do that It's a hit. Uh, 
it bleeds, we can kill it. Um, and uh, that is me for now. A fairly, yeah, fairly uh, wow. conservative turn, but I just want to reposition. Me. Right, uh, on to carry Rook. Okay. So I... I'm going to run and dash to about here. I don't think there's much else I can do, to be honest. Oh, actually, give me a second. Da, 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 da. I'm going to cast a spell. Who's that below me? That's Clestis oh, there. Clestis. Okay, give me one second. Clestis, I've got an idea. Uh, I'm going to cast Haste. Uh, should it be Clestis? Yeah, oh, I'm me? Gonna, okay. Yeah, I'm just saying it's going to be you or one of our meat shields. Uh, uh, probably other meat shields would be a better call, man, <laughs> not going to lie. Yes, yeah, so I'm thinking. I'll cast on Boren because Boren's there. There you go. Okay, so make sure you deduct a spell slot <clears throat> and haste. So if Borin is hasted and death warded. Oh, hasted and death warded. Wow. He may yet survive the day. I mean, I hope you all do, of course. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> I've not killed a character for ages. Um, Please. <laughs> so, uh, that's Kararuk then. So, let's move on to Pontos. So, who is going to take control of Pontos? Um, I've already got control, so I'm doing me to carry on. I don't see why not. So, Pontos appears to have a haste icon on him as well. Has he been hasted too? Because haste is a concentration spell. Ah, sure is. Oh, in that case. Could anyone else have hasted him? Um, I haven't got uh, haste. I don't believe I have haste. Hang on, I'll check. I do not. Okay, I want to see him he is not hasted then. Um, I so wonder... I that spell back then and not cast it on for and leave on Pontos then. Well, if... if Who just moved the boat? Who's moving the oh, boat? That, that was me. I have no <laughs> idea how I... Uh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's leave the boat there. Um... I don't remember anyone casting haste on Pontos last week, but does anyone else remember? Because that's quite a specific thing, and we may just have used the token market to mean something else. Um, I can't remember. So it's the kind of thing where I might have written myself a note in the chat. Well, he's got a flying boot on him. Yeah, I see. Yeah, but I've got a flying boot as well, and I'm not hasted, so... I just hasted you, that that might be why. Yeah, that's why you've got a hasted. That's why you've got that on you. Um, right, okay. I'm just trying to remember um, why Pontos might have that. Does Pontos have the winged boots? Is that why I use that? Oh, oh god damn Ooh. it. No, I don't want to grab the ship. Ugh. <laughs> I want to move the map, and every time I try and move, it takes the hit with me. <sighs> well, you, to, you have to right-click, uh, right-click, and right-click the there mouse, hold it down, and then you can move it. I I gave, I think, everyone in Fusion, what did I give Pontos? Was it just an armor of, like, protection? Like, wasn't it just, like, a plus one to his AC that you got? Uh, yeah, I think it was. Damn it! Ah! Yeah. Oh. 
<laughs> well, if if Gary Rook cast haste on Pontos, then it would have come off again when he cast it on Borin. Mm -hmm. Who's got the winged boots? I have winged boots. You've got the winged Both boots. In character and token. No, I mean the actual magic item. W the, the I do. You've got that. Okay. Oh, for fuck's sake. I didn't watch Sorry. the video back, so I can't remember. Yeah. <laughs> well, just if you if you are putting haste on uh, Boring, uh, Carol, don't forget to put a concentration token on yourself. Yeah, I don't think Pontos has got haste on him, because if he had, then we w then Carol would have a concentration marker on him, wouldn't he? Uh, I don't normally put the markers on myself because I don't usually do concentration spells. Hmm. But if you hadn't, I would have. Okay. So right. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take it off, Pontos. And if it turns out that I'm completely wrong, then um, you know, hands up. Right. Anyway, it's Pontos's turn. <clears throat> What's he gonna do? Okay. Well, first things first. He's going to um, second wind because. That beam bloody hurt him. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh dear. Um, it might be because I, I manually I manually took it off his sheet. Sorry, that me trying to be clever. Oh, okay. Oh fuck! Sorry. Let me just roll a deep, uh, deep D ten. This way your macros hit. There you Yay, go. Like maximum. Uh, okay. So, and then I'll uh, just put that back down to zero. So just something to keep it as simple works. Right. And then he's going to dig his heels into um, Hugh Bacon. And Hugh Bacon is going to gallop. Um, no, that... Um, Pontos, I want you, you bacon. Uh, so, is he going to do the pick a pole? Uh, no, he's going to do the uh, the uh, cannon pork. and just launch himself over the side. Cool. So Pontos, he's currently so he's currently yeah. in mid air and falling then. Yeah, with Pontos just riding as if it's a, a nuclear bomb. <laughs> Definitely Doctor Strange love uh, vibes as he's just leaping over this. Okay, so you can do your mm -hmm. uh, you can do your attack actions then. Um, yeah, um, Q Bacon uh, sprinted, so he can't do anything, but um, that doesn't stop the uh, the big guy. Um, is the Leviathan bigger than uh, Chew Bacon? It is <laughs> much bigger than Chew Bacon. <laughs> so, so, so I don't get advantage from his um, mounted feet. Okay, I'll just like to check. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah. Well done. Now nah, you fucking swing a hat round the in the air. Uh, uh, not as impressive, but still sure. damage. And he, he has a third attack now. That he does. Mm -hmm. da, da, da. Oh, and that was a crit on a nineteen because he's a champion, isn't he? Yes. Oh, was that max damage? That was max damage. Max damage. Um, yeah, so 37, a 12, and a 30 damage. I can't say fairer than that. And then ends with a nice uh, belly flop in the water as uh, Chew Bacon hits the, uh, the, the sea. Splish. Okay, so Chew Bacon is kind of treading water then with Pontos mm -hmm. on his back. <coughs> yep. <coughs> Um, so we are on to Duke Bardstard. 
Yeah, I've got him at the moment. Very muffins indeed. Alright, so Duke is going to look at this big Lithi Lithiathan. I can't even say it now. Lithiathan. He goes, Grim ah. I'm going right. to hold you, and he's going to cast... Just call him Nessie. It'll be, it'll be natural to you. <laughs> Nessie. Yeah. And he's going to cast Hold Monster on him. Okay. He's going to need to get up onto the deck, because otherwise he will not have a clear line of sight. Ah, uh, kind of worries. Going to... Boop, boop, boop. It's going to go up there. Cool. Um, Old monster. Okay, DC 18. So DC 18. Let's try a save. Is that a wisdom save? That's a wisdom save. Check in. Yes. Mm -mm -mm. Does it have resistance to magic? I don't think it does. Oh, that's a fail. Ooh. Let's all get on its back and get stabby. So, let's have a quick look. Paralyzed for the duration. Is that worth a legendary <coughs> resistance? Not resistance, legendary thingy. Hmm. Or do we save it? I mean, his turn is in two turns, just saying. <coughs> I'll tell you what, I am going to. <laughs> so, 50 50, if I roll under 100, uh, sorry, under 50. Um, I will use legendary resistance over 50. I will not. Oh, I'm not going to use legendary resistance. So, he is currently paralyzed because you have held monster. It is. Um, I think that's all he's got to do at the moment. Cool. On to Clestus. Alright. Clestus, having tried to reel back to no avail this uh, harpoon, because this thing is absolutely massive, is going to cast Reduce on the creature. <laughs> huh? Hmm. Okay. Well, I'll drop that in the chat then. And we'll see. So that you. might mean Carrot rolls less damage. Yeah. On, on the Leviathan? No. That, that thing's still going to be way bigger than you. If it... I just want to be able to reel it in. <laughs> that thing's gargantuan. It's going down to a huge. You're, you're just large. <laughs> no, it's, it's more uh, Karug's dagger. <clears throat> so... Just going to keep it closer. So, DC 17 Constitution, if he fails, he goes down one size. Okay. And his weight is like halved or something. Hang on. Uh, reduce. 17. Weight is reduced by one eighth, and it's sized by one category. Damn. Yeah, meets beats. He That's does good. He does not change size. Shit. Alright. So, presumably uh, that was an Axion. It sure was. Uh, uh, well, since that one's hooked in, uh, Clissus is going to, assuming, yep, he's going to go over to the other Harpoon and uh, just be there in case things go wrong with the other one when we shoot it into him. Hmm. Okay. And at that's the end, uh, at the end of yep. each of its turns. Okay, so that's uh, that's it for Clusters. So we are on to the Leviathan. The Leviathan. Uh, at the end of each of its turns, it gets to take another uh, another save. So, so this might be a very short-lived. Um, this might be a very short-lived whole monster, but we will find out in a second. He's got to beat an 18. He doesn't beat an 18, so... Fantastic. So we are now on to uh, Monsieur Berin. Hmm. Uh, okay, so I'm going to use the bonus action of... Sorry, during haste, uh, I get an additional action. 
so I'm going to use that for use an object or or an attack, whichever one you want to interpret it, and use it on this ballista. All right. Uh, to shoot into the Leviathan. Did I? I'm assuming it's large enough for me to not worry about hitting Pontos. Um, <laughs> yeah, probably. Did I give you proficiency last time? I can't remember. You said we were all uh, experts because we've been on the ship so long. I experts. don't know whether or not you can count that towards Borin because he's only been here not as much as everyone else. But Well, you definitely don't have expertise, but you might have proficiency. So um, that's going to be a d20 plus your dexterity bonus plus your proficiency modifier. I'm going to say you're proficient. You're quite good with crossbows anyway. Okay, so dex, but proficiency bonus is what's it, five. Dex bonus is three. Okay, so it's plus eight. Yeah. So give us a d20. We'll add eight to it. Okay, that is a dirty twenty, which is a miss. However, uh, it is held. So does that give you advantage? I'm just going to quickly check the rules for paralysis because I can never remember. I don't think it helps you when it is a ranged attack. Come on. No results found. Oh, that's because I'm trying to spell it the European way, probably. Condition paralyzed. Paralyzed creature is incapacitated. Creature automatically fails strength and dexterity saving throws. Attack rolls on the creature have advantage. Any attack that hits the creature is a critical hit if the attack is within five feet. Okay, so roll us another d20 because you should have had advantage on that attack. Okay. Oh, even worse. So that, that, that that's definitely not going to hit. Yeah, that doesn't All help right, me. I don't have so. time to reload. I'm not going to bother reloading. So straight into it and then I'll attack. <clears throat> okay. So your, yeah, you have, your fly speed is your walking speed, isn't it? So. Yeah. And doubled because of haste. And now I just do a standard attack. Yeah. You are currently occupying its space, though. So you have to, you have to stop oh, next to it, not on it. There we go. Well, no. uh, did you say I get advantages to attacks? Because it's paralysed, you get advantage, and it will automatically crit. So remember, oh, remember oh, the auto oh, crit. Auto thing. crit, yes. Awesome. Yeah, auto crit and advantage. This is going to be. Very... I'm surprised it didn't go over with an extra full nice. Quick question: It does uh, it it. I get heals off of this, yes, because it's yeah. a bleed. Yeah. Okay, just double checking. Okay, that's one hit. I don't even. Uh, okay. That's a advantage. Two hits. Jesus. Uh, we are a couple of turns, couple of rounds. <laughs> Three hits. <laughs> and as my bonus action, I am going to do second wind. Oof. Okay, it takes three... Uh, bro Wounds of the brooch of the bloody rose. Yep, they're they're marked on there, but that happens on its turn. So yep. Okay, we move on to Um Yorl. What's Yorl doing? Uh oh I, oh that's quick. Right. So uh Yorl is going to Uh, I'm going to move the 
hand uh, to there and just hold it uh, hand out almost as a bit of a springboard or a, a platform uh, for anyone that wants to, to sort of bounce along. And since this thing is paralyzed and everything, everyone else is wailing into this, uh, you're always going to have a go. Uh, we'll just a little bit of distance. We don't want to go too far. Because if you're paralyzed, there's there's a spell here that it, it auto fails because it's a dexterity roll. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Fireball the party! <laughs> no! Yes! Hello, Fireball. I mean, if you put a radius somewhere over here... Um... <laughs> Uh, and um, well, we'll uh, just what can I go up to? I can go up to now. We'll, we'll keep it that for now. Disintegrate. Ooh. So. Well, that was pretty piss poor rolling. There was a lot of ones there. Hmm. Thin grey ray. Springs from your pointing finger. And that is a... Dexterity okay. roll. But since okay. you're... Well, uh, it, auto it automatically fails. Okay, so yeah. that is going to be then... Yeah. On, on 10d6, I, I only did 28 damage on the dice rolls. That was piss mm. It's still better than a kick in his nuts. Well, yeah, but even still, for something like that, it's like, yeah, that was that was a lot of ones and twos. Yeah, um, yeah, and and that'll be your all uh, done after that. Cool. Okay, Ooh, what's Carrot doing? He's gonna plop himself there on top of the beast. So, does that mean I automatically get sneak attack because? Um, you get sneak attack because you've got allies within five feet. You you, you don't have to try and trick and me. <laughs> advantage as well. Advantage because he is paralysed. Ah, Auto crit because he is paralysed. Alright, happy to use a whole jump on you. jump on It's good fun. Alright, and I'm going to get stabby. Uh, Getting stabby with it. There we go. Boom. Oh crap, yes. Bardic. Oh no. Sneak attack. We. Oh, How big is this thing? Is it gargantuan? It is gargantuan. Oh. Well, don't fumble. Please don't fumble. Please fumble. Please fumble. <laughs> oh my goodness. Holy fucking shit! Yeah, but, as I as I was saying, don't make it smaller. His dagger does more work. Bloody hell! Oh, that, that, and that. it's still not bloodied. What? In Clusis's defense, he doesn't know what the fuck just happened, except this a cleave by like a magic butter knife, and it just whacked it into this beast, and he says. And a big flash of lights happens in this beast. Good Christ! Okay, never mind. <laughs> oh, happy days. Fuck. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, that, that, that'll do, pig. That'll do. So, if I were to make it bigger. <laughs> <laughs> There is actually no size in 5th edition above Gargantuan. Ah. Then as my bonus action... Oh, no, I'm just looking, don't cast that, sorry. Don't do anything anyway. It's a cantrip uh, in it, so it's nothing lost. Make, make, makes, makes my uh, disintegrate look a bit piss poor, really, doesn't it? Yeah. So as my... Just try to think how I can hide and be stealthy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how I can. At the moment, you don't really need to. 
Yeah. Yeah, no, no I'll, I'll just make sure I'm by his body. I'll, I'll, I'll ask my turn done. Oh, that thing's gonna wake up pissed off, dude. No, so let's keep it sleeping, eh? <laughs> <laughs> right, on to Pontos. Yeah, I was just making some notes there. Okay, well, Carol, uh, so Pontus seeing that, and he's just going to uh, try and get a little bit of. Oh, fucking hell, no, no, let go of the boat. I want the pig, not the boat. Not a conversation, uh, sentence I thought I'd ever have to say. Um, yeah, after, after seeing that uh, beam last time, he's uh, steering his little. Uh, Pedalo round here, and you see little the little uh, pig tail is just spinning like a rotor at the back. In, 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 in. <laughs> yeah, very very sort of loody tunes. Um, all right, so we might as well start with the pig. It'd be wrong not to. Uh, so some auto quick here. Advantage. Good pig. Nice. I just have so many buttons. And now the big boy. So let's see what you can do. You know how in the other realm the sea was full of blood? Um, I think we're doing that again here, boys. Yeah. It's bleeding out the BP Leviathan. Oh! Two and a four. Oh, uh, well, yeah. He's had a, a fair good uh, wax there. Um, yeah, that, that'll, that'll do him. Cool. Right, on to Duke. Um, so, my Hold Moisture is Concentration Spell. Um, I'm just looking at Fireball. I'm guessing I can still cast that then. Not lose Concentration, or is that. Yeah, yeah. You can you can cast non concentration spells whilst concentrating. Okay, so I can cast this up to 150 feet away. So yeah, I'm going to cast it in kind of that direction. Uh, oh, I think I think you should put it here. <laughs> Character would be all right. Um, 20 foot radius. Let's give me a circle. So we've got a template, but oh, we ah. But we don't have to use it. Uh, it. It's pretty, but we don't have to use it. We can. That's um, right. I can use a template. That'll be fine. I'm sure I've got. I'm sure there is one somewhere. There it is. We'll use. We'll pull out Char's one for now. So right there is where we want it. I think. That would be perfect. That that would be revenge, actually. That'd be sweet, sweet revenge. But now we'll put it up closer to its eyes. <laughs> anyone else does it? No, that doesn't need anyone else. Awesome. Let me fire a fireball off. Ba -dum -bum. Uh, dexterity saving throw automatically fails. Yeah. So that's 25. 25 that's damage done. <clears throat> and that's him done. Cool. Okay, on to Calestus. All right, Calestus is going to turn the harpoon gun on swivel and take aim at the Leviathan. 
Cool. So... What did we say the attack roll for that was? It's going to be a d20 plus your dex, plus uh, your proficiency, and it's going to be with advantage because it is paralyzed. Plus six advantage, all right. Twenty-three is a hit. Fantastic. So I'll do that. Make sure the chain's nice and taut. And uh, do I have a bonus action worth doing? Actually, now that since this is a weapon attack, and would you count uh, the harpoon as munition? Um, can you tell me why before I answer that question? Because <laughs> uh, as a bonus action, I can apply poison to a piece of munition before using it. From that point of view, then I guess yes. Fantastic. Uh, my poisoner feat ignores resistance but not immunity. Is it? Let's see, is it immune? It is... It's magical, isn't it? So it is not immune to magical poison damage. Fantastic. So how much poison damage does he take? Uh, that's my... Hang on, whoops. Should I... The poison is... Uh, oh, well, it has to succeed a very low uh, DC constitution save. Jesus. Uh, this chap uh, is quite, quite good at con saves, but here we go. 22! Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's definitely higher than the paltry 14 I was demanding. <laughs> um, is that half damage or no damage? Uh... None, because it needs to apply the poison condition. Ah, okay. So, anything else from Clestus? No, I'm just going to pull the chain taut, make sure uh, it's going to have a hard time uh, wriggling out of this one. Cool. So, I have to do two rolls. So, one wisdom save. So, the... Paralyzed monsters at the end of its turn. Yeah, so is the bleeding damage. So, so pass or fail, it is the end of the Leviathan's turn. Okay, he is no longer paralyzed. We're going to do a con save, and we're going to add two to it. So that is a DC 16 con save for bleeding he passes so it doesn't take any additional bleed damage okay so that is all the leviathan can do but we are now on to Borin oh my god hang on sorry I've uh, okay then. Back away then with uh, double attacks using haste then. So six. Is it still? No, it's not. It's, yeah, it's still. Yeah, grappled. it's not. It's not paralysed anymore. It is grappled. Um, <clears throat> but I don't think grappled in and of itself bestows any. Advantage to attack. No, I think it's just uh, speed zero. Okay, well, let me just... I see 24 at the moment. So, yeah, I'm going to risk a reckless attack for all the advantages anyway. Uh, and, yeah, animated shield is already activated. None of my superiority dice are going to do anything against this thing. Uh... <laughs> It's not like I can do a disarming strike. 
One day. Good place to be vault. Okay, that's one. What the hell? No. no. Three. So that's three attacks. That was so that's one action's worth. Still not even bloody yet. The sea is two. Two. Um, what have I ever done? One, two, three. Oh, that was four. Okay. Four. One, two. No, that was five. This is six. Uh, mm -hmm. why, is, why are you rolling six? Because he's hasted, so he gets two actions. Uh, haste, I'm pretty certain, says you only get one attack from haste. Oh, really? Does it? Look. Uh, I think you're, he's right. Uh -uh. Oh, do we have to get Kevin an apple? Me, 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 me. <laughs> so, what was that about me giving John ideas? <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I'm not giving John ideas. I'm just being fair, honest, Kev. <laughs> <laughs> Teacher's pet, Kev. Cold monster. Ah, oh, that action can only be used to take the attack. One weapon attack only. Okay, right, so that means that you get four goes. One, two, three, four. Yeah, so add on, but add back 27 health and take five health off of me. Yep. Okay, so we put 27 back. We take. But some I will choose quick toss. That's your boy. <laughs> Which is only a bonus action. Yep. Now, does Ray. Is it. Reckless attack doesn't count towards this, does it? No. No, also, you're at disadvantage because it's you're within five feet. Because any missile attack within five feet of your target is at no, there's, disadvantage. There's no way I'm going to be using any other form of superiority dice today, but other than that, so. Is it offhand? No. Ah, okay, well, it comes back to me. And I lose the superiority dice in the attempt. Cool. Okay. So, that's, it. The that's all I got. The Leviathan, at the end of your turn, uses one of its legendary actions to do a tail attack. So, who am I going to smack with my tail attack? I'm going to randomly decide between the variety of targets that I have. So, this has a range of 20 feet. So, so I can get... Hmm, can he get Duke? I don't think he can get Duke because Duke is actually... On the deck of the ship, which makes it slightly more than 20 feet, because it's up a bit. So, the attack is either going to be against Bigby's Hand, Borin, Chewbacon, or Pontos. So we're going to do a D4 to decide who gets smacked. Oh, Bigby's Hand. What a waste. Okay. OK, 
Okay, Bigby's hand gets hit. <clears throat> Excuse me. He is not looking very good, but uh, he's still there. He's got purple blood. Well, yeah. before he goes then, um, Miss, uh, Mr. Hand will go to there and he will uh, give a plank fist to the Leviathan. Did you just take damage off the off Bigby's hand? Yeah, it was already damaged and I, ju I just did that. You did it manually? Oh, it did it yeah. automatically. You didn't need to take it off. Okay, fine. I, I, it was already uh, damaged. I thought it was... Uh, it just had to go in. Okay. He's, he's still not in the best of state, but at least he took it rather than one of us. Yeah, I'm not sure what, how many hit points it should have now, because it went down to... Well, I just took 25, so uh, it'll be on to... So it'll be... It'll be uh, that then. Uh, mm -mm -mm. Come on, what work we here? The uh, computer? There. So cool. I only took 25 okay. off, yeah. So there, there's that, and then you're always just going to keep her distance, and she's going to thrust her staff forward, and from her staff, she is going to cast um, a thunderbolt. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, well, a, li a lightning bolt, but uh, let me just make uh, you take those uh, charges off. Because otherwise I'll forget. So, where are you there? Da -da -da -da. So, uh, can I have a dex uh, 18 saving throw, please? You can indeed. Ching. Oh, okay. Okay, you'll suffer half of this then. Uh, so we just we do this. So, and it is uh, that. Okay, so you will suffer half of that. So, so Ooh, six, sixteen. Sixteen. Mm-hmm. There we go. Was, now and now we're moving again. Like, Damn you! Um, but uh, that's that's me done at the moment. Okay, so it's ah, oh, it's the new turn, isn't it? Okay. So I think we're just going to have another another tail attack with the choice of four potential targets. Number two. So that's going to be boring this time. Tail attack coming for boring. Bring it on! Bring it on! Uh, so cool. Um, so. that's not enough. It's actually my AC is twenty-four because you add two AC for haste. Okay. Then haste. I shall I shall give you twenty-three hit points back. There we go. Okay, and, and I choose repost. And you said you wouldn't get to use any of your uh, dice to die. Ah, oh, that is very true. Okay. Uh, I don't know if repost counts as being able to use. I mean, the throw one, yes, but can I make this a reckless attack? I just oh, realised. No. Oh. I've just realised because you were doing reckless attacks before. Yeah, he gets advantage. He should have had advantage on you anyway. Um, so let's do the other d20. I rolled. I rolled that worse. <laughs> so actually, that doesn't doesn't help me at all. Okay. So you can have, um, you can have a repost. Uh, I'm gonna say. Your call here, but am I allowed to make it a reckless attack? Um, let's just... very quickly Thank see you. what it says about reckless attacks. If it says anything like on your turn, then possibly not. Starting at second level, you can throw aside all concern of defense to attack with fierce desperation. Defense to attack with fierce desperation when you make your first attack on your turn. You can decide to attack recklessly. 
Doing so gives you advantage on melee weapon attack rolls using strength during this turn. But attack rolls against you have advantage until your next turn. Um... So, it is not, yeah, it says during this turn, and it's not actually Borin's turn, so I don't think he can reckless attack. Okay, I will do it as standard then. Cool. Oh, and yikes. That that D10 would have been extra damage if it was a hit, wouldn't it? Okay. Yeah. Cool. Okay. I did so miss. You missed, I'm afraid. So no extra damage. Um, I won't. I won't inflict that damage on yourself. That would be slightly too cruel. Right. Uh, I think. Yeah. That brings us to Camera Rook. So I'm gonna. Run up his back, so I'm still five foot from Boren, so I still get all my coolness, I think. Yeah, you get sneak attack. Yeah. There's nothing to give you advantage, though, so it's just the standard attack, I think. Uh, even though I'm on its back, can I stealth between its big spiky things? Could I use that? <laughs> I mean, that's somewhat tenuous. It definitely yeah. knows you're there. It can feel you running up its back. <laughs> and you've just shoved a giant knife into it, so I think someone's back there. Yeah, he's probably paying attention to where the fuck that 500 damage came from. <laughs> <laughs> I'm adding Blooming Blade to this as well for his. Okay. Uh, bum, 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 bum. Unfortunate. Uh... That, that's I really want the, bro the brooch of the bloody rose to start stacking up. Mm. Uh, then don't want to really disengage and run away, but how can I hide? I can't need to do this. No, that's it. I'll just do where I am. I'm done. Cool. Over. Okay. On to Pontos. Okay, so the little motorboat just keeps uh, chugging around. Okay, we'll start with the the man, the myth, the legend, the pig. There we go. Just when I oh, you're, okay, you're sort of on, on on the token. The I wasn't problem with really, the problem with really big things is they've got big corners, and technically that's on it, isn't it? The problem about black holes. Is they're black, yeah. And the problem about space, kind of the space-like color, is it black? <laughs> um, what is it? It's a white hole. <laughs> but what is it? Um, uh, uh, can't hit every time. Uh, pig. Never mind. And then. Um, Pontos will uh, keep swinging. I'm, I'm hitting it. I'm just bouncing off its spider at the moment. Yeah, striking sparks off its spines. Much preferred it when it wasn't moving. Yes. Oh, that was a bad show. And uh, yeah, that 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 me done at the moment. Cool. That was, so that was very obsessing. It is going to do its splash attack. Which is basically an AoE. <laughs> So, any creature within 15 feet, which is everybody except for Clastus, Duke, and Yorl. So, that's going to be Borin, Bigby's Hand, Chew Bacon, and Pontos. We need a dexterity save. Oh, fuck. 
Carry Rook. Uh, I get well. this. Oh, and Carry Rook. Yep. Yep. I get advantage. Why is that? Because it's... danger sense. Uh huh. Okay. So uh, I don't know why it only rolled rolled one though. No, no, it did roll. It did roll twice. You just uh, oh. you just rolled a three and a four. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, mistake. Uh, fellas, please. Uh, oh, uh, right, um, Pontos is going to use uh, one of his Indomitables to uh, have another go. Because, uh, but not holding that much luck. Oh. oh, better, better. Not nowhere near high enough for a DC 20s, uh, 23. If you're close, on, if you're closer, I could give you Flash of Genius and make that. <laughs> no, uh, Pontus is the other side of the beastie. Oh, hang yeah. on. Now, Indomitable allows you to re-roll a saving throw. Now, does that mean I could re-roll again? Because it's not advantage, technically. Um. There's so beginning. Yeah, that yeah, because uh, 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 um, yeah, first one with advantage, that and then you, you fail. And then you... So, yeah, I guess you could re-roll. I don't know if the re-roll would have advantage. I think the re-roll would just be a re-roll, so... Oh, your, your call on that. Yeah, uh, okay. Yeah. To... yeah, you can have another go, um, but not with advantage the second time, I don't think. No, I don't think so. I'll, I'll have a read of it, but I'll be... Hey, 23. Ha-ha! <laughs> that That's means you, you only take 14 damage instead of 28, so I shall... Manually deduct those for you. Um, did anybody pass? So what was the... So, Kararuk is going to take... Uh, the DC is 23. Okay. Pig down. Pig down. Uh-oh. Yeah. So, so much damage is that? <laughs> so, Kararuk, Kararuk, you take half damage because of yeah. your um, rogue ability. So, you're going to take 14... Uh, I'll do that. I'll do that. So there we go. You've okay. taken 14 damage. Um, did you, uh, Bigby's hand? Oh, uh, Bigby's hand a trait. Uh, presumably, it has a dexterity score. It must have. Oh, okay. Academic. So that is 28 for Bigby's hand. I think that's everybody. Everybody has been suitably smacked. Mm -hmm. And also, he may swim up to half of his swim speed without provoking attacks of opportunity. So, How hindered is he from the harpoon? So, I would say that um, because he is grappled, and I think this works both ways, uh, if he if he if he beats the boat with an athletics check, then he can move half of half his speed. So I am going to do a an athletics check. Fourteen. So. I th uh, does the boat have a strength score? I mean, effectively, its strength is neutral strength. So, can somebody roll a d20 for the boat? Go, yeah, Michael. Jukes at the helm. Okay, okay come on. This from Duke. 18. Oh, okay. So, it fails to pull the boat. So even though it's trying to, it thrashes its limbs and manages to smack you all, and it it tries to kind of do a stroke to swim away, pulling the boat with it, but fails to do so because the the weight of the boat is too much. Does it take so, any damage during the fact that it's trying to pull against giant pieces of metal embedded in its body? Uh, I'm going to say no. But I just realised that the boat should even... the boat should have taken some damage as well. But so, 
me shooting it with a harpoon didn't deal any damage either. Um, I forgot about damage from the harpoon. You can roll me a d8 for that. And add your dexterity modifier. A d... Okay. Fucking... Does as much damage as a... As a one-hand attack with a long sword. Yeah, but <laughs> if it slows it down so it's not running around everywhere. Yeah, I mean, I was yeah. dashing just to try and get in contact with that thing. Alright, it took uh, seven from the harpoon. Uh, what's your dex modifier? Moi um, is a plus one, so d8. Okay. Still helps. Oh, there we go. I'm helping. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> yeah, I'm playing my part. I'm playing my part. I'm just I'm keeping doing... my spell slots for heals at this point now. <laughs> I'm doing my part. So Duke is going to try that trick again and cast Hold Monster. Boink. Hold it. That's that down. And I've taken that spell off as well. Okay. That is a wisdom save. 18. Oh. A pass this time. Worth right. a try. It was. Okay. Uh. And ooh, he is actually going to give Bardic Inspiration. Is it worth giving Bardic Inspiration to Kyrok? Well, it won't do any harm. Yeah. Are you within range? I'm just double checking. Yeah, I think you are. Uh, Bardic Inspiration. Uh, it's going to be pretty much anyone within range of hearing, feet. isn't it? I think. Yeah, 60 feet it is. Yeah, that's fine then. Cool. How do I do a bardic inspiration on here? Uh, there is a button for it, so I don't know if I've actually... Yeah, there's a bardic inspiration button. Which will allow you to pick uh, a target. Cool, there you go. Happy days. Cool. Why didn't it make a noise? Oh well. Uh, that was Duke, so we're now on to Clestus. Alright. Clestus, having a bright idea, is going to grasp the chain with both hands and uh, send a wave of thermite down it into the harpoon, casting heat metal onto the harpoon embedded inside the <laughs> little wife. Oh, nice. interesting. Okay. I saw you tried this the other day with heat metal, but you didn't have the time to do it. Yep. I wanted to prioritize putting another harpoon in it, so we at least one oh, thing. Oh, no, smart call, smart call. It. So, uh... Oop, I wanted to show you in VTT what that did. The weird, the weird thing is, sorcerers and wizards can't don't get access to heat metal, but druids do. I mean... It's a very, um... Ah, there we go. Yeah, it, it's a really cool spell, but it's like, druids can uh, make metal glow red hot, but wizards and sorcerers can't. It was just always a weird one. So, um... Ah, oh, so you've upcast that by one? I cast at level, uh, yep, three. And then you've got Alchemical Savant. That's a plus four at the attack roll. With yeah. the... And then... Yeah. And it gave you 3d8s, but it also... Oh, that's adding up the total, right? I see. I was, I was trying to work out why it was 15 and then another 15, but it, it's just helpfully adding it up for us. Oh, it's yep. concentration. So I lose my haste. Uh, did I give you haste? Yes. No, it was, know, it, 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 was, it was Camera who gave me haste. <laughs> it was like, okay, no, okay, sorry, haste. sorry, I'm just like, I check. <laughs> but I think haste lasts a minute anyway, so I don't know if we're close we're getting to that. Um, it's only been a couple of rounds, so, so yeah. we've still got a way to go on that. Uh, okay. 
So it, it doesn't even get to save against it. it no, it doesn't. It, it's it very nasty, particularly if you're up close and somebody's in heavy armor. Yes, the cook and book is is a classic tactic. It's such an evil spell, too. Holy shit! I mean, if it's just someone holding a sword, it's not so bad, is it? Because they're kind of like, ah! But if you're, you know, if you're Full wearing the armor. Yeah, if you're wearing metal armor, then you get cooked alive, don't you? Nasty. Uh, yeah. Is that it for Clastus? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, he, has advan he has disadvantage on attack rolls and, the and ability checks until the start of my next turn, unless he manages to drop the harpoons. Oh, blimey. Okay. Well, harpoon singular. Yeah. Okay. So the Leviathan is going to use one of its abilities. I'm going to cast Heat Metal on Borin's armor and then throw Borin down the throat of the Leviathan. <laughs> what would happen if I... I mean, I would just drop <laughs> into the water. It hmm. roars in... Uh, in... in uh, in terrible rage. So, can all of you please roll a wisdom saving throw? Okay, oh, right. not good for me. Oh, no, no, not intelligence. Ah, oh, I just realised. I have crashed the sandbox, so I'm just going to start it up again. Yeah, just going to wonder, so I couldn't see uh, Pontus's yeah, Pontus Pontus result. Yeah. So you might have to do it again. There Let us know when. So we should be good now. Jesus, um, guys! If you if you're uh, if you're raging, boring, you may be immune to fear. You might want to check that. Ah, oh, Clastus oh, isn't scared. Yes, I think you're right. Raging, I'm not affected by it. See, I I pull rules up on both sides. Honest, Kev. Um, I will use my last. Uh, flash of genius on Juke to spare him from the uh, fear. I have peered through the veils and into other realms and into the abyss. This doesn't scare me. So, yeah, Juke, you're you're fine. Does that? Oh, that gives you a bonus, doesn't it? Okay. Yep, it's a flat plus four. So, Yorl, Juke, Clastus, not scared. Uh, the hand is not scared. Borin is not scared because he is immune currently. Only Pontos that shits himself. And Kariruk. I mean, Pontos is in the water. No one would see it. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, it turns out this ocean's got that weird chemical, so it just leaves that blue stain. You just see a fat fucking log just float <laughs> up next to Pontos. It's just just a push it away. <laughs> it is floaty. <laughs> Just tries to pin it on the, the pig. <laughs> so, condition frightened, what does that do? A disadvantage. Creature, yeah, disadvantage on ability checks and attack rolls while the source of its fear is within line of sight. The creature can't willingly move closer. Okay. And so, that is one of the things it can do. It is not. I'm currently reading that. Rage, and it doesn't show me any sign about being immune to. Yeah. Um, unless I'm thinking of Berserker. I know it was just one of those. Thank you, Mike. Oh, yeah, I think it's Berserk Rage because. Okay, I apologise then. No, uh -oh. that's all right. To be, f to be fair, I've just realised this entire session that I should be taking half of all those bludgeoning attacks, but. Uh, I think you only took one hit this session, so. Okay, wisdom save. Uh, 
Oh, okay. Boren is frightened. Oops. Okay, what is frightened? So, disadvantage on attack rolls. Um... Right, so we have, so Frightful Presence done, and then we have some attacks, but we had better test a thing. Why is it not bloodied, Carrot? What? Why isn't it bloodied yet? I don't know, but I'm scared of it now. Don't rightly know. No. Magic in the tree. I fell. Um. So we're gonna have a bite. So who's gonna have the bite? Uh, his attacks are at disadvantage because of the heated harpoons. Yeah. Yeah. He's got disadvantage on him twice actually. He's he is quite impaired. So, first attack for Bigby's hand. Oof. <laughs> so, Bigby's hand presumably just disappears. Uh, then we have claw attack. Gonna get the claw attack to... Well, we're gonna decide this randomly. Claw attack to Borin. With disadvantage. Hey! Alright, this is a new round, so I get to, uh, <laughs> Riposte. Oof. Yeah, Riposte ain't gonna do shit. Oh, I probably... Hang on, big... Oh, sorry, my apologies. <laughs> and then we have... Kararook. So... What we're going to do to Karuk, we are going to give him a tail attack. Sure, you can just ignore me. I mean, it could just ignore you, but he's not going to. Please ignore that searing pain in, in between your shoulder blades from this god killer uh, knife. Yeah. If it messes me, it might hit itself. So, so. Oh. so you are knocked prone because you're standing on something, so you, you cannot... Uh, or unless you're flying, but either way, I think you were standing on its back, weren't you? So yeah. Yep. Okay. So you are, you are knocked prone. Okay. That is all I've got for this round. So I'm going to move on to uh, Borin. Uh, okay. So I'm frightened and can't move towards him, but I can still. I can still do reckless attack, which would just give me standard, because the advantage would take out dis disable the disadvantage. Yes, it would. And I forgot I could just have moved then. Ah, uh, bollocks. Oh, you still would have had to um, take a roll because of my roll of uh, my ring of engagement. Do you not have to activate that? Uh, no, it's just standard. Oh, god damn it. Go on, I need... <laughs> this is the worst set round ever. Right, um, this is a... Last round, remember... Pontos missed with all of his attacks. <laughs> no, I'm just saying for me. Okay. Oh, for God's sake. Uh -uh. Alright. And all of those should have been with disadvantage because... Um, well, he, went, he went reckless, so it... Be I went reckless. Ah, yes. You, you said that, and, and I, I even acknowledged that, and then I... 
promptly forgot. Right. So no, you are correct. But that is fine. I, I've got to be honest here. Does twenty four hit him? Because it's a minus one due to my uh, blunted weapon now. A twenty four still hits. Okay. Okay, uh, so he now goes up to four. Bloodied. Uh... Oh bollocks! I forgot to do the thing. So right, I will retrospectively do the save for Con because his turn was that should have happened at the end of his last turn. Yeah, and so minus this is... three. No, oh, hang on. Oh, we no, failed. Okay. okay. So that means he's going to take. Uh, it's not going to be an enormous amount of damage, but. Um, Approach of the Bloody Rose. It is uh, D6 on a 3. Okay, roll us a D6 then. Okay, and then it's going up to. Then it's going up to 4. Hopefully D8 next time. 6! Woo! Hooray! 6 whole points of damage. Okay. Okay. So, uh, anything else from Borin? Um, no, I feel like I'm going to be okay. I mean, I'm down to 45, hit, down to a third of my hit points, but I do have that death ward, whatever that is. So I think I can do another round without needing heals. Oh, um, crap, that was, that was last session. I, I can't fill it up. Uh, death ward basically means that instead of going down to zero hit points, you go down to one hit point. Okay. That's fine. So, so I've basically got another turn in me, even if you focus this on me. Okay, guys. Keep going. Keep hacking. God damn it, will this thing die? Okay, okay. so I'm going to move us on to the start of the round, but it is 10 o'clock, so let's take a quick comfort break and then come back shortly. Yep, no worries, no worries. Uh, cool. Uh, we're spot on, actually. Yeah. Hmm. Sorry. I'll see you in, uh, in 10. Cool. cool. Yeah, BRB, TCFN. Boy.
You know. Hey. Right. This thing is a tank of wounds. Holy shit. Yep. That <laughs> thing is taking a bit more punishment than I thought it would. Like, I yeah. get it's a BVG and he probably accounted for dude the, the having dagger. a dagger that does 500 minimum damage. Yeah, we got to get rid of that and fear of cow root. I mean, does clusters have lesser restoration or something? Or anything that can make him immune to fear? Oh, I can cast uh, lesser restoration at like without expending spell slots if he's in range. Uh, what's the range for lesser restoration? Isn't that like a touch spell? Oh shit! Let me check. Yeah, it's a touch spell. Fuck. Okay. I just realized my AC is thirteen. I am so squishy. <laughs> my wizard ain't that much more tanky than you, and I'm a war mate, so I get bonuses to my AC. Uh, I have a concentration as well, and it's still not the most resilient. But uh, yeah, I've got my. Um, I did have my hand. Where's my hand gone? My hand didn't die, did it? So, hang on, does the pig die, die, or is it a summon? Uh, the pig is uh, basically, um, it's like a minion, so it's got some death saves. Ah, all right. Um, In the water? Yeah, but because of the pact that uh, Pontus took both of them, are sort of slightly aquatic uh, at the moment. Ah. Because of the, but yeah, my, my hand is completely... Vanished. It, it, it was definitely somewhere around there. Um, a little bit. Yeah, but that thing's a summon, right? So I think just got. It was down to seven health after that um, pulse, but it didn't attack that hand any other time that I can see. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it did. That thing got melted. Uh... <sighs> No, sure. Actually, I can see a claw attack on Boring, and I can see a tail attack on Carrot, which knocked it over. But nothing else. Didn't it uh, bite your hand? Uh, that was a turn before. That's what got, um, it was on thirty-five. Then that pulse um, that went out, and it suffered twenty-eight. So it was on seven health. So. <laughs> But it should still be there. Because I was going to use it to pick um, the cow rook up. But it might just be under a, la under a la layer or something. John can see it in a minute. Oh, hang on. Let me see if I have anything that could deal with that fright at a distance. Uh, hmm. Maybe. Uh, I don't know if... Uh, do you think that uh, roar counts as a spell? I don't think so. Because, like, my only other option really would be dispel magic. Yeah, no, unfortunately, I doubt it. Um, the only other bit is um, a bardic inspiration when he makes his uh, save. But I think when he uh, failed his fear test, he rolled so low it would have been academic last time. Uh, yeah, carrot roll of five. So yeah, that we no point in using that. Um, yeah, I'm out of again. flash geniuses. I had to help a juke pass his. Yeah. The war mage at the level I'm at He's got this cool ability that, as a reaction, I can either give myself plus two AC or plus four to any saving throw, 
However, you can only use cantrips the next turn. Mm -hmm. So it's like, okay, I pass a saving throw, um, and I'll, okay, I'll have to use a healing touch or a um, firebolt or something. At that level, it's still doing like 3d10 or whatever, so not the end of the world. And uh, keeping keeping a wizard uh, alive is probably more more important. Let's just do a refresh just in case it's um, just hidden off my screen or something. All right, so I can keep spamming heat metal at lower levels and keep my higher level spell slots for healing. Just to make sure those bites and tail whips are a disadvantage. And we just need to somehow... Oh, or I could poison it. That gives disadvantage on attacks, doesn't it? That does, but he does seem to be quite tanky, so whether he, 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 he's going to pass his con saves. Hello. Hello. Yeah, but I... these ones are a bit higher. These ones are DC 17 and they do. Ah, okay, fair enough, fair, fair enough. They're a bit better than the poison, the advanced poison I can put on my munition. I, I thought when you were going to go onto the back of that, uh, uh, Leviathan, um, Chris, you were going to sort of run along the harpoon table or something. Um, cinematic Just like that. along it Tony Hawk style. <laughs> Just, here I am. Looking <laughs> older all the time. <laughs> Rocking like a hurricane. <laughs> that. Yeah, no, nah, I, I was, was going to be flying, so I thought oh, there's no point running around the harpoon wire. I'll just fly over and stab it in its tail. All right. Um, so I can dispel the fear, but only within touch range. <laughs> Actually, sure. um, I would have informed you that I'm an alchemist, so you would likely know. That I'm carrying vials of volatile healing mm -hmm. potions. Volatile so, healing potions. That doesn't. Um, sense. Meaning, we're gonna roll a d6 when you drink it. You're gonna gain some health back, and another effect's gonna take place. <laughs> that sounds interested. <laughs> yeah, like they can be really good, or they can they could they might. One of them could be a hindrance. Could be. <laughs> that sounds pretty cool. Um, hang on, let me see what kind of experimental elixir. So you'll roll a d6, right? If you drink it. So one of them, oh wait, only one of them heals. Oh no, 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 I'm a uh, alchemical savant. Uh, wait, I have something that lets me heal. Uh, I'm really happy I got that disintegrate off, but 68 when you're rolling 10, um, was it Pindy, Pindy 6 plus 40, and you only get 68. It was like, ah, that okay, was, that was so anticlimactic. So, yeah, my my experimental elixirs will give 2d6 plus 4 when you drink them including a uh, random effect that varies with more healing, which would be an extra 2d4 plus my intelligence modifier, or it'll give uh, swiftness, which gives plus 10 walking speed. Resilience, the drinker gains a plus one AC for 10 minutes. Boldness, the drinker can roll a d4, add the number roll to every attack roll and saving throw they make for the next minute. Uh, flight, the drinker gains a flying speed of 10 feet for 10 minutes. And if you roll a 6, which is probably the worst one, transformation, 
The body, the drinker's body is transformed as if by the alter self spell. The drinker determines the transformation caused by the spell. The effect lasts for ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> that that could be interesting. You could transform into a T Rex or something. Can T Rexes swim? Mm. Or they're not very good at the breaststroke, but they're tiny arms. Uh, or this Lith Ivan's daddy. I bet they look ridiculous cool. treading water. <laughs> be cool with it. Ah, Godzilla! Yeah, Godzilla. yes! Oh, that'd be pretty cool. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's why Godzilla just walks through the bottom of the ocean, doesn't swim, he just looks so stupid. The Japanese would just be dying of laughter before he even got on shore. Yeah. Oh, look at this stupid motherfucker! <laughs> look, look at him with his, with his 300 foot uh, miles long legs and it's probably funny in comparison. Yeah. It's a bit weird, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, his proportions are kind of fucked. They just, like, shrink back into his body when he gets on land. <laughs> <laughs> Telescopic legs. <laughs> <laughs> just looking at, like, deep-sea submarine footage of it just gives you a heart attack of, like, daddy long legs Godzilla walking at the bottom. <clears throat> And if if right. you really hit, reach the bottom, that would really fuck his blood pressure up. Yeah, does he get like the bend as he's taking the step? Um, that's why he screams his radioactive shit when he comes out. He's just that sick of it. <laughs> oh, oh my! <laughs> just radioactive beam. Yeah. God damn. It's just a cry for help. He's not even like trying to destroy shit. He's just got too much blood in his head. Uh, John, uh, before yeah. we ca uh, get going, um, I'll, what I'll, I can't figure out what's happened to uh, Big B's hand. He was down to seven health after he, he did, uh, the Love Fire from the in that twenty-eight damage pulse, but I can't see it on my map. Oh, the Leviathan bit it and killed it. Okay, yeah, because I was looking at the damage. I could see it attack Borin and attack Carrot, but I couldn't see um, on my hand. That was that was what I was confused about. Oh, it's in there somewhere. Um, yeah, I'll show you. It was like a final bite that did. Yeah, because I can see Bori takes thirty-two, Carrot takes twenty-six. Uh, that was the bit that was confusing me. Um, oh, oh no, there it is. There it is. I see it now. It was just one of those for. I couldn't see it for looking. <laughs> All good. Cool. Okay, why is that so weird? Come on. Ah, that's it there. Okay. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Okay. Is everyone ready to go? Yep. Uh, no. Yep. Is Michael back? Yep. I thought I heard him then. Yeah. I definitely heard Michael shaped noises. Yep. Yeah. Cool. There you go. Very good. So, uh, on to Yorl then. Yorl is the first to act. Yeah. Okay. Right. Um,. Oh, how great. That's excellent. Right. Seeing my hand getting um, ripped apart, uh, so I lose concentration, but I will keep that token up for now. He's going to, once again, hold his uh, staff out and use taking another five charges from my staff. I'm going to cast my own um, old monster. Ooh. Oh, uh, this 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 gribbly needs to keep uh, still and be prepared to be stabbed. Yep. <laughs> so it's a DC eighteen wisdom, please. Ooh! Yay! After seeing the success uh, Duke had with that, 
So we do we do have legendary resistance. Do we use yeah. it? Hmm. If we want if we well, if you want to start getting rid of them, I'll be happily you get rid of them as well. Oh See what you roll first, because you can decide after. I just rolled ninety nine. No, I want about like I was about you make the saving throw and then you can decide either way. He's failed to save. Oh, oh it, it, it was really lagging on my screen. Ah. It's all just caught up. So, what did I say before? I said below below 50 he uses it, over 50 he doesn't. So, okay. Damn it. <laughs> That's not a bad thing. And, well, with... Um, and with that, Yorl is going to do the most sensible thing that Yorl can do. <laughs> Why is Yorl? It's all yours. It's all fine. You're doing good. <laughs> and that's me done. Cool. Okay, then. So... We move from Yorl on to Kararook. Okay. So, I'm going to use half my movement to stand up. So, I've got a question for you. Because mm. this thing's paralyzed, does that mean I can walk up and stab its eye and rip its eye out so it's half blind? So, I have a disadvantage. <laughs> hmm. You're about to make him take that legendary reaction, man. <laughs> I, think, I think that's more kind of where you get the advantage. Yeah, and I've just realised that we should actually have had a constitution saving throw for Kararook because he's taken some damage, hasn't he? Yes. Yeah, so right. can I have a quick, uh, a quick con save for Kararook? Uh, um, why? To find out whether Boron is still hasted. Ah. Uh, constitution. That's probably the end of you're in no, you're in luck. Constitution, uh, say concentration saves are DC ten, uh, or half the damage taken, whichever, whichever is, higher. is higher. And in this case, yeah. you pass. So Boren is still hasted. Yay! You can be scared because you haven't spoken. Okay, so now that I'm standing up, yep. I'm going to stab him. Stab away. Uh, you have disadvantage because you are frightened. But advantage because of the paralyze. Yeah. And yeah. So it is standard um, and, and auto crit. And advantage because I'm opposite boring. Just two advantages. You're, well, you're not opposite boring though. Ah, I can move. Ah, bloody circle. So if I move a little bit to there, does that mean I've got advantage again? Cause no, because you have to be on the other side of the token. Uh, technically. Yeah, so... There. Hmm, but you're standing on his back at the moment, so you're not flanking him. To flank him, you both have to be on either yeah. side of him. There I'd have to be. Okay, one. Yeah, you'd have to be outside the bounds of his token to get to get flank. Inspiration. Sneak attack. Yes. Standard. And he is still gargantuan. Happy days. Boom. That's pathetic. <laughs> you haven't you haven't even hit six hundred, <laughs> and it's still not bloody yet. What? <laughs> Look oh. how many ones I got in that sneak attack. Oh my gosh! Yeah, that's cool, Blade. Rubbish um, against sturgy is good thing. against massive things. Um, that says NPC takes, unless he's got some resistances, because that's 555. 
35 plus 40. Oh, 35 to hit. Sorry, that's why I've done. Uh, uh, please ignore me. I'll shut up. Maths is hard. Yes. Anything else from Karrook? Um. Ah, oh, no. What What is making Karrook fly? His uh. wings. <laughs> Do I have wings? Do I have a spell? Does someone cast a spell? I can't remember. That would have been the last session, so. Yeah. So who cast fly on Kararuk? Did Kararuk I... cast fly on himself? I do not have. I don't have fly. I do have fly. Is it a concentration spell? Yes. Mm. Oh, you guys. So you wouldn't because uh, you would then you would have replaced it with haste on Borin. Yeah. Oh no. Oh well. So, you can pick one now. Yeah, I'll, I'll stop flying. I think it's only fear. Okay. So, I'm not going to retcon. Um, yeah, you basically, you just kind of leapt off the back of the boat onto the back of the thing anyway. So, actually, flying has not... Um, well, that, that was flying has Bigby's not really hand. given you much much help. So that's why I put Bigby's hand between the boat and the Leviathan before to give you like a springboard. Um, but don't yeah. forget to take your uh, fear test. Oh yeah, uh, so wisdom save. Ah, no, 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 no. Wisdom, wisdom. And you do have a in oh, yeah, never mind. Inspiration on the attack. Oh, so well. No You're no longer frightened. I get super duper advantage because I get a natural 20. Should do <laughs> a natural 20 just means that you succeed. Uh, Alright, I'm done. Okay, we move on to Pontos, who is Frichtend. Frichtened. Okay. Well, first things first, let's do the important thing. Uh, where, where is it? Where is it? Uh, so that was the really important thing. Um, because of that, Pontos isn't going to move. He's going to stay next to his beloved pig. But he is going to try and um, thrash at this uh, beastie. Right, so it breaks even. Um, oh, but I do get auto crit. Let's make sure I get that in there. But everything else is standard. Oh, he is frightened. So yeah, it's understandable. But uh, come on, come on, you can do better than this. It was a hit, so we'll, we'll take that, we'll take that. Come on, boy, you can do this. Ooh. Oh my good god. Um, uh -uh. Uh -uh. I mean, um, of all the fumbles, it's the most like logical one right now. Yeah, he's, he's um, whacking away at this uh, godlike creature, and just this armor plating is just too tough. Um, and then above all the roar, yeah, maybe be between all the roaring and the screaming for this creature, you just might get this, my pig, um, and that's it. Cool. Okay, on to Duke. Cool. Oops. Um, so I'm just looking at some of the funky spells he's got and what he can actually do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think you another fireball might do the trick. 
So we've got some good tactical control of the battlefield here, because he hasn't managed to move yet. Yeah, unfortunately, I I can't pass that cold monster again. He's um, he's held at the moment anyway, so you don't need him to. So I'm going to cast fireball, please. Oh, you're going to cast it on yourself? Yeah, I can dodge it. I'm all right, but no. Aww. I'm going to cast it further down here this time. Oh, disappointing. That's lovely. Yeah, that's, that's I mean, we could. Whoa, 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 whoa. I mean, we. It would only be there we go. Yeah. If, if it's there. I mean, we still can't get Pontos as well. There we go. The thing is, Karuk had so many fireballs smacked in his face. Another one. But. Max he, prob it, he, Max he, pro he probably he probably quite enjoys it by now. It does. Well, I mean, right. boring is in his element anyway, just in the oceans. So we know how boring like going out out in the sea anyway. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Well, he automatically fails the save because he is paralyzed. Paralyzed. There we go. Awesome. So he's, he's on. A little bit scorched. I mean, he doesn't catch fire because he's in the sea. <laughs> and he's a god of the sea. So he's a bit wet. Ooh, he smells funny. Very difficult to set fire to yeah. such things. Uh, right, that was Duke. Duke's action. Does Duke want to move? Um, he will cast Bardic Inspiration on Pontos this time. Let me do it with these actions. Bardic Inspiration. Pontos. There you go. Very good. Okay then. Uh, we then need to move on to Calestus. Alrighty. Um, could I toss something at Boren? Yes. What do you want to toss at him? A fireball? <laughs> yes. No, it's going to be a uh, experimental elixir. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I mean, I'm a bit preoccupied, but... I'll just aim for your bag, it's fine. <laughs> Pretend it's bare, dwarf. <laughs> just catch it with your mouth, it'll be okay, the glass is thick. Even if I miss, the damage is only cosmetic. <laughs> so I'm going to say that Borin can use his reaction to catch it um, if he wants to. Yeah, okay. And Trust me, you'll want that. Let me know when you want to use it. <laughs> and, and Clestus, do you have to use an action to throw something? Um, you can interact with an object to take it out of your bag, so I think... Hurling it is going to be an action, I'm afraid. Full action, all right. You're lucky uh, I'm not making you roll to hit. <laughs> fine, I'll take it. In that case, I'll use... Um, that's 60 feet. I'll use a healing word on a Chew Bacon. What's the range Ooh, of healing word? 60, 60 feet, feet, isn't it? I'm not sure he's within 60 feet. I measured it earlier, thought I was. Where's the thing? Nine. Oof. It's in the number. Oh, you're right, okay. You can do it then. Lovely. So, D4 plus your wisdom modifier, I think. Uh, intelligence for me. Intelligence. Arr. And Alchemical Savant gives me a plus four. So okay. that's going to be 11 healing. So Chew Bacon. My pig! My Chew pig Bacon is, back. is no longer dying. So that resets his death save fails. Who knows, he might need them again in a minute. Okay, anything else from Clastus? <laughs> oh, that'll be it. Does your heat metal do anything? 
at this stage? Uh, no, it, it lasts for a minute. Okay. But it doesn't it doesn't do any extra damage then. Nope, it stops at the end of my it stops at the beginning of my turn actually. So when does it do the damage? Uh upon casting. But I thought um, it, it's, yeah, so it's, why it's, would it last a minute if it just did that? Yeah, it's a residual effect, isn't it? So Yeah, can we can we just dig it up? Yeah, when when does it do the damage is what I wanna know. Uh, hang on a second. Heat metal, uh, uh, a creature uh, is holding or wearing the object, takes damage from it. The creature must see it on the constitution save or drop the object. If it doesn't drop it, or it has disadvantage in attack rolls. Um, right, any creature in physical contact with the object takes 2d, uh, 2d8 fire damage when you cast the spell. Until the end of the, the spell ends, you can use bonus action on each of your six sub sub subsequent oh, turns. Oh, I, I reapply it. Okay, okay. But that's your bonus action to do that. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah, I think getting the pig up was more valuable than 2d8 fire damage. Yep, absolutely. Okay, so... Well, we 3d8 because from... you got cast it. Oh, okay. yeah, right. So we move from Clastus to the Leviathan, who is now going to try and shake off... Paralysis. DC 18. Good. So, do we use legendary resistance? We do. Oops. Paralysis ends due to legendary resistance. Uh, I also need to take a con save. That con save is for bleed damage. The DC is 14 plus 3, 17. Passes, so he is no longer bleeding. Bam. Uh, the disadvantage comes from heat metal, Bleed. doesn't it? Yes. Yep. If it doesn't drop the object, it has disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks until the start of your next turn. Okay. Ah, oh, until the start of your next turn. Okay, so that. But if it's still holding the item, it's the disadvantage is continuous. If it doesn't drop the object, it has disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks until the start of your next turn. Because the next turn you take another test to try and drop it if you can. Ah, okay. Try and wrench it out. So he needs to take another constitution saving throw then. Um... Or drop the object. Oh, succeed. Okay, yeah. he needs to take a con save to hold on to it, but it, it, it has no choice as to whether to hold mm -hmm. on to it or not. So, yeah. Okay. I mean, if he so, can just choose to not have a harpoon embedded in it, that's. Yeah. Uh, right, I think that's all he can do this turn then, or at least during its turn. Okay, so Borin is still frightened. At the end of your turn, you can take another save. Uh, so, I think Borin should have lost the... Did Borin use his inspiration? No, he didn't. He still got Bardic Inspiration. Okay, it was Kararuk who used it, wasn't it? Yep. Okay. Yes. So, take it away. Take it away, Borin. Okay, so... Oh, God, I'm just trying to recap. Okay, I have Dash, I have No Kills, I have Rage, and I'm Frightened. Okay. Back to hacking. So, disadvantage due to being frightened. Reckless attack, cancel that out. Yep. Oh, for God's sake. So blood pours out of Borin's nose. Oh, come on! Jesus. Mm -mm. 
So yeah. you you can't actually fall prone because you're in the water. No, wait a minute, you're flying. Oh, okay. You pass anyway, right. so it's fine. Oof. This is just pathetic. What is this guy's AC? Island 20, we know this much. Then again, yours is 24, so... <laughs> Finally, okay, hang on, is that one, two... Three. Right, uh, does a 27 hit? Yep. <laughs> yeah, okay, 27 is good. Uh... So that's that's one hit. So we're going to give him uh, another blood drop, but just the one. Bonus action. I got nothing. I got nothing. Oh, why are they all living to giant behemoths? Why are they all what? Sorry. Why are they always giant behemoths? Give them a weapon or something that I can use my special abilities for okay that's it done well you can you can try and save your your fear yep yep take your uh take a wisdom save Fifteen. all right what was the dc you want to i think try and i think, make, I think the dc make, was 19. you might want to use the inspiration uh, yeah, DC nineteen. How much does it give me? I think it's a D ten. If it's a D ten, there. Oh, okay, I'm no longer frightened. Huzzah! Oh, that's Huzzah. good. And I'm okay for one more turn, again. Okay. Well, the um. Concentration on Yorl has gone once more, but I won't get rid of it because he's going to really dip into her bag of tricks and use her seventh level slot. And you see, um, as she's just swirling her arms around her, as he's uh, standing on a uh, magic carpet, you see these motes of energy start to spin and they co coalesce into seven ash. Uh, shining bright orbs that circle her as she casts Crown of Stars. Oh, I, d I, don't, really, I don't know that one. Hmm. Uh, I think it's... Uh, no, no, it's not that button. Uh, it is... Oh, come on. Oh, I don't want that. Uh, I think it's that I've got to press then. Yeah. Crown of Stars. Four D twelve radiant. Hmm. Whether you hit or miss, the moat is expended. Spell ends early if you expend the last moat. Lasts for one hour. Not concentration though, so we can get rid of that concentration yeah. marker. Yeah, I'll just just doing that. Um, when you do so, make a range. Already did that bit. Uh, if you have four or more moats remaining, they shed a bright light. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you so, are shining brightly. Yeah, and I will launch one of these stars as a bonus action at said target already. I don't think this there's a power card for this. No. So I, I will just do it the uh, crude old-fashioned way. So this will be plus 12 to this. Ah, 14. Take that. <laughs> not, not a hit, I'm afraid. Ah, but uh, it is it is a start. But uh, at least I can, uh, I can then be doing that as a bonus action the next turn. So that is a uh, you're all done at the moment. Cool. Right. Damn the end dice. Come on. On to camera rook. There you go. Cool. Um, so is this thing still held? No. Sadly not. No. So it's just a regular. Uh, oh, crit. No. 
don't know. Sneak attack because I'm on it. Uh, Sneak attack mm. because there are allies within five feet of it. So sneak attack, yes, but not for that reason. But he is a big boy. He is, he is that, a very, a very big boy. So do I get advantage because I'm on him? And nope. Oh, I'm just trying to think of something. Um, <laughs> all right. No, no. Go, you Come on, come on. No. Oh. Uh, uh, can I use my inspiration to give Karak a reroll? If you want. Yeah. I, you, you do the most damage, Karak. Stab him! I'll try and stab him! Stab him! Oh, Come on! Come on! Whoa! Crit! Oh, that's a good one. That, I, I'm just going to doff my hat to your. I'm distracting him. <laughs> Fifteen hundred damage, not even bloody, just from this one guy. Christ. Please. He is a god. Good job, good job we have got him because we'd be fucked without. <laughs> So, uh, anything else from Carrot? Um, can I do? What can I do? I see there's something funky that I can do. Not really. Can't hide. No, uh, I'll, I'll be done. I'm done. Cool. Right. On to. Okay, uh, the the pig is going to try and headbutt it. Oh, it is a hit. Headbutt. More, uh, more oil in the water. OPEC is going to hate us uh, when they look at this ocean. Um, there's going to be uh, sort of actionists uh, trying to uh, scrub uh, seagulls with detergent and everything. Ooh. And then we have um, Pontos, because uh, he's still scared, so he's unfortunately going to be at disadvantage. Because... Oh, um, just going to do that one again, because he's at minus one as well with his act. Uh, right there. Um... Almost. Uh, I'm going to try that one again. Mm -hmm. uh, no. Oh, come on, Pontos. This is not the time for a little bit of uh, nerves. Oh. Oh, the other result was a bloody 19 as well. That would have been a crit. And then he will just try and see if he can shift his, uh, his sphere. But uh, he's going to have to roll good. I just noticed I've still got my frightened token on. Uh, and unfortunately, Pontos is still shitting himself. Uh, and that's you. all I. That's all I can do. Very good. Okay, we move on to Duke. <clears throat> Duke the so Bard starred. So I'm not casting this, I'm just trying... Oh, okay. So my, my spell earlier wasn't opening up. Alright, so... Uh, psychic light. This, I'm this going thing is crazy. Psychic lance at this beast. 
Okay. There's DC 18. Mm. That's a really good. 34 points. Fuck me. You um, rolled really good on that. If it fails, it's incapacitated to the start of my next turn. Pups are good at high levels. Ooh, he's incapacitated. Do I have a thing for that? That's restrained. Why is there not a token marker for incapacitated? Maybe there is and I just can't find it. <clears throat> anyway. So you just see this mystical long beam of a lance just smashing the creature's skull by his head and sort of disappears in. Uh, and you just see it slump down a lot about you. Oh, can he move? I'm going to give him the spider web, although that is actually a different effect. So, on success, we'll say the creature takes off as much damage. It's okay. So he's incapacitated. Oh, sorry. And he takes 34 points of psychic damage. Yeah. Uh, incapacitated is like the swirly one. Um, ah. On the third, uh, third column... From the from the uh, left. Ah, oh, you found it, good man. Third from the left. It's, it's a it's a, it's like a hexagon swell thing. Why can I not see it? Curses. Um. I'm being blind. Uh, uh, yeah, we found it. It's right next to a uh, symbol that looks like a, uh, an archery target. Yeah, we got it. So, 34 points of psychic damage, and you know what? He's still not bloody. <laughs> Ching! Yeah, he is. Hey! So, Finally. So, Karaluk has bloodied it. <clears throat> well, Juke. 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 Yep. Okay, anything else from Duke? No. Hmm. Alrighty. Uh, th it's still under the uh, hold person of a uh, spell, right? Nope. No. It's no? incapacitated now. Incapped. Does that affect uh, saving throws? Uh, can't take actions or reactions. Hmm. All right. Never mind then. I'll just uh, reapply heat metal to the harpoon. Okay. So that's a bonus action. And what damage does that do? Uh, it's three d eight, I think, since I'm upcasting it. Okay. And let's have you three d eight then. Three. Yeah. Three. There you are. Total 20, okay, 20 points of fire. Damage. Cool. Then, does he have an action? Mm. You know what? We're pulling the musket out. Oh, Christ, things are getting desperate. <laughs> yeah. The plus three musket that misses everything. Hey! You mean, I mean, <laughs> prove me wrong. That's a Rolling hit. 20, what the? F Wait, what? What of that is a one twenty plus? Okay. I was just like confused as to what I was looking at for a second. All right, yep, that'll be it. Yeah, I fucking, I landed it. It only took a creature to be like the size of the planet for me to not miss, but I got it's, it. It's the size of the side of a barn. It's only slightly smaller than the ship. Hmm. Right, let's have your damage then. Than your mother. 
<clears throat> Let's just turn some musket towards his buddy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's gonna be it. But what's, what's the damage? damage? Isn't that total twenty damage up there? I think that's from the heat metal, isn't it? Oh, yeah, what that, the? That was from heat metal. metal. Yeah. That was weird. Oh, lovely. You know, remember why I said I'd start using it as a club? <laughs> <laughs> Like, it would count as a magical club, right? Since it's, <laughs> like, enchanted. <laughs> I mean, on a technicality, yes. <clears throat> Lovely. Well, wouldn't be hidden by one be classified as a ma magical uh, blunt or object? Because you're getting hit over the head with a piece of wood. That's supposed to do a D12 plus 4. God damn it. <laughs> but it's still damage. Yeah. Any any damage on this thing is da is good damage. We'll take it. So Oh fuck off. Right. Um So it's the Leviathan's turn, but he can't take actions or reactions. For how long? Start of Kararuk's next turn, so... Duke. Oh, start of Duke's next turn. Oh, bollocks, okay. Well, that's not good. I should have used that large legendary thing. So if he's incapacitated, you can't do anything. Nope. It's good battlefield management, I think, from Duke. We're just running around and he's sort of just he's thrashing around but he can't actually get a pin on us at the moment as we're just doing all of this. Yeah. Go uh -huh. Borin. Finish him. I don't finish sure. him. But... Sure, finish him. <sighs> right. Uh, no, I'll tell you what, I'm going to leave that as an emergency to drink whatever the heck um, I just got thrown at. I almost said Cletus for a second. Hey, Ma! I made a potion! <laughs> Come on, moonshine! One. Oh, okay. Advantage so helps. Uh... Two. Damn it. Oh, um... Right, we do have to remember it's still minus one because I've got a blunt weapon, so that's 24. Well, when you're going through there, yeah, it's, it's a bit fine. There, so it's still hit, a hit. Hit modifier. Yeah, when bonus pops up, you can just type minus one in the box. And that will do it for you. Oh, okay. I mean, is that one, two, three? Um, so your point there. I forgot to take the con save, so I'm going to very, very quickly take the con save for one. Yeah. And then we'll add some more. Ah, uh, he passes the save, so the one goes away. But then we have, and then we have three new ones. Mm-hmm. Oh, slowly hacking so, away. Uh, anything else? I mean, it's not five hundred, but uh, is it? Is it even bloody yet? Yeah, he is bloody. Yeah. Pontus and Chewbacca are over the thing. I couldn't remember. Ah. Okay, that's. That's me done. That's it. Okay, on to Yorl. Okay, well, Yorl, first off, it, she's going to reach her hand out to the ship, and you see one of the uh, cannonballs just start floating in the air and get launched at it as I do a. Uh, That'll be a catapult. That'll be a third level catapult, yep. 
because I'm, uh, I'm just going to start okay. at this target. Oh, uh, okay, public, what level? Level three. DC 18 dexterity save. Ooh, yeah. passes. Is that half yeah. damage? Uh, no, it's all or nothing. All or nothing? Oh, mm -hmm. gutted. Okay. Uh, these, these, these things happen. It's not a problem. Um, yep, and then um, with her other hand, she's just going to fling another one of those uh, stars. And hopefully cool. this one might actually hit. So, plus 12 to this dice roll. 21? Nope. 21 does not do it. No, I've seen uh, 20, enough 21 so far that it hasn't. So, this is very. Uh, the dice are just not liking uh, all this. I'm trying to do stuff here to assist, and it's just pinging off the fucking height of this thing. Yeah, Come on, guys, we've got half an hour. We can get this. Kill it. Oh, no, I don't think so. That. I think <laughs> it might. I think it might be worth um, maybe. At the end of this turn, calling it there for the night, and uh, then we try and finish it off next week. Because this thing yeah, may, I, be, I, may I, be a while. I don't think we're going to do it this session, but. Um... Mm -hmm. I'd love it if next session it was just one hit point left. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> that would be cool. All right, so I am adding um, Booming Bleed to this one, as I remember. Okay. Um, but I said that last. Last time I said that I missed, so let's hope I don't. Okay. Correct party. No, I have no sneak attack. Yes. Standard. Yes. I'm trying to think how I get advantage. Okay, no. I, I cannot think of any way you could do it at the moment. Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, oh, awesome. Don't forget the boom, boom. Oh, yeah, boom, boom, which is. One second. It's not a huge amount, but what adds up? Booming blade. Cool. Yeah, nothing much, but it adds just another 18, so it's like 540. Oh. No. <laughs> First world <laughs> god slayer problems. <laughs> mm. Right, anything else from Kamarook? <clears throat> no, that's him done. That's him done. Okay, on to Pontos. Right, okay, right. Uh, let's start with the pig, because the pig seems to be vaguely reliable. Um, until Pontos can recover from the fear, I can't really move, that's the problem. But, uh, we do you can't we move can. towards, but you could move away. Yeah, but it just narrative, it would be a bit funny for the pig to just steer him round at the moment. So, I'm just keeping it as it is for the time being. Pig's still doing stuff. That, that's all that matters. Um, minus one. Disadvantage. Oh dear. No. Suffer from the pain for the rest of the encounter. Oh, Punter's oh, in a no. bad way. <laughs> But wait, I have another attack. What could possibly go wrong now? You've been doing those all at minus one, haven't you? Oh, yes. Um, come on. It's, um, as a sandbox crash, it won't let me click on the Leviathan. Uh, one sec. So, sandbox is still going, but it may be lagging slightly because I just um, baned Pontos. So, if it still won't work in a few seconds' time, then try a browser refresh. Let's do that. Magic. Okay. 
<laughs> oh, poor Pontos. He can't get rid of this fear, and now he's got Bane, which is going to affect his bloody saving throws for the fear. Burn. Uh huh. Pontos is torn. Does he kill this uh, cre monstrous creature, or does he take its uh, patronage and, and get more powerful? Oh, Pontos, he's so torn. It's like Twilight all over again. Um, what? Sorry. Um. Is the bane automatic? Uh, it should be. Okay, let's go from there. Uh, yeah, the bane was there. Um, and then the final bit, which is going to be really comical. Uh, let's see. Surprisingly, Pontus is still a quivering mess. Oh. He does have one more attack left, though, I think. Uh, did he? Yes, I've done the three. He did. Oh, no. I was because it was the. Um, yeah, the one sandbox, one so. was two bacon. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, mm. uh, da -da. Oh, poor God. Bane and disadvantage. It'd be a miracle if he does it. Oh, I mean, just tell you, Bob, but I, you would have got a point if it weren't for the uh, disadvantage, but uh, uh, fuck you. Uh, thank you very much, Roll20. <laughs> uh. Never mind. Okay, so oh. we're going to move on to Duke's turn, but at the beginning of Duke's turn, the incapacitated status ends. So. He is no longer incapacitated. Okay, I think what Duke might do is from his awesome spell book, just make sure he's still on the left. Second man is gone. He's going to psychic glance again. Okay, and that is what what save was it again? Intelligence. DC eighteen intelligence. Again, you can see this spear or this lance flying out of Duke's hands. It speeds across the battlefield and it goes through the Leviathan's eye, but his eye remains intact. But as it goes in, you can see these grey tendrils going around his body and it starts shaking and, and stuff. Oh, he's he's had enough of this shit. So he's he's um he's using his final legendary resistance. Oh, good, oh, good. To pass the save, and there. That's the last one gone. That's fine. So oh. he takes half as much damage as he's not incapacitated. So, so ten points. Oh. There we go. He's free, lads. Get to him. You what? He's he's, a, he's having a turn. What's this sort of shit? <laughs> We're right. in trouble. Ask our DM. <laughs> uh, anything else from Duke? Um, yes, we've got two bardic inspirations left, I believe. Let me just double check the character sheet. Yeah, I think he's got a total of five. He's got four, or is it just three? Yeah, yeah. So he's using his bardic inspiration given to carry root kicks, he's going to need it. Cool. Done it. Is it done it? It's done yeah. it. Yeah. Cool. Let me just double check your sheet to make sure it's gone down. So, cool. Done. Cool. Then yeah. we are on to 
Clastus. Come on, Clastus. All right. Uh, Clastus is. Oh, hang on. Clastus is going to check the range on something before he says something ridiculous. Um, 120 feet. All right. Perfect. Oh, wait. No, that's not even going to work. Fantastic. Clestus is going to cast from oh, hang on here in a line. Yep. I'm gonna go with Tasha's caustic brew. Actually no. Ray of sickness is where it's at. Is what I would have said if it would have worked. Um, Big C seventeen oh. con save. But it looks like it's a roll to hit as well, which is a bit confusing. Um, I think it, yeah, I think this one is. Is you roll to hit and you don't normally have a roll to hit and a save, do you? That yeah, this one's a, yeah, this one's a bit of a weird one. So ray of sickening greenish light lashes out. Make a ranged spell attack on a hit. Blah. Okay, so... A uh, failed save is also poison until the end of my next turn. Sadly, it was a miss to start with. <gasps> Excuse me. Uh... So, that is an action. Um, you can bonus action if you got one. <laughs> I don't is have it... any spells. I don't have any cantrips that are bonus actions, unfortunately. Heat metal isn't, isn't a bonus action, is it? Uh, yeah. uh, to reapply it, yes, but doesn't count as casting a spell. Yeah, because you've already cast it. It's just basically mm. uh, you're using your bonus action to um, uh, to keep burning him. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and uh... <laughs> oh nice. wow! Okay. Well, keeps them at disadvantage when it comes to attacks, so we'll take it. And ability okay. rolls. So we move on to the Leviathan, who has emphatically had it with all of your collective shit. <laughs> Man, we are lined up for a very nice beam. Oh, goddamn. Great mind can <laughs> like. <laughs> Can I'm down I get, to one HP. Can I get everybody? I the beam's cannot. only five wide. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, okay. aim for the guitarist. He's the one giving you trouble. <laughs> <laughs> He's just singing songs, happily, you know, helping people. Ding, 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 ding. Are you singing thunder? Okay. So Borin taking the deck save is completely redundant because I'm reduced to one. You're reduced to one. So your yeah. death ward your death ward is gone. But really? it stopped it stopped you from dying or stopped you really? from being knocked no. out. Uh, Duke, let's have a deck save. No. That deck save no. fail, so you take 94 points of damage. 94. When did he fucking recharge that, the bastard? This is like his first chance to actually do it. He definitely did something like that last oh, week. He yeah, he did it last week. But yeah. Uh, yeah. Was, oh no, he uh, got his second attack off. <laughs> Yep, so Duke, uh, was it Duke who did haste, or was it Karuk who did haste? It was Karuk. Yeah. Okay, so ignore that, um, ignore that automatic concentration save. I thought that was switched off, so I don't know why I even did that. So we got that. And something you notice, 
is that not only did a load of water come out of his mouth and um, do some horrendous damage to um, Borin and Duke uh, and also some damage to the boat so the boat is starting to look a bit leaky now the boat is blooded for all intents and purposes but uh, the Leviathan vomits up no, that's not nice. A certain cleric that you might recognize. <gasps> oh, oh. Crap. Who? Uh, we need healing. <laughs> so, this. You know what? It's not actually that one, though. It's the one that's already on there. On the token layer. Sorry, on the GM layer. So let's actually get him where he's supposed to be. Ping! There we go. Okay. Where is he? He's so on the boat. He is prone. He has just been vomited by a god of the sea into a, <laughs> um, a mast. So he is absolutely prone. Deep! Tricky. And he's he's not acting this turn. I don't mm -hmm. care if he's in the turn order or not. <laughs> yep, that's fine. Um, he's covering in ambergris. <laughs> What's the lot of money? Exactly. So we are on to... Uh, we're on to Borin, who doesn't have to take a death save, because he's a very Drink lucky boy. Push. Drink the potion. Uh, do it. Drink uh, it. Oh, damn. Do it. Uh, okay, I'm going to drink whatever potion I just caught off. Uh, let's just... Okay, that's one Lovely. action then. Chug, 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 chug. <laughs> Already. It's got diamond great. white written on the side. <laughs> There's a little pony figurine in the bottom, don't you? Not too. <laughs> Is this off a random table? Maybe. So, oh, uh, this could be very you get funny. Get two d six plus four HP back off the rip. Two d six. Yep, plus four for the restorative uh, reagent. Wow. And uh, experimental elixir. Uh, roll a d six. Two, you gain swiftness. Your walking speed is increased by ten feet for an hour. Uh, the fastest uh, with haste and that he's the fastest dwarf alive. Yes. <laughs> All right. Let's give you some of those hit points back, though. So it was nine plus four. You say. Mm -hmm. There we go. So you are on uh, that number of hit points. Right. Uh, okay, so as my haste action, I'll take one swing at Oh. Well, luckily you drank that potion, so you didn't just uh, you didn't just KO yourself from blood loss. I'm down to three health for hit points, that's it. I don't know how everyone else is doing. Yeah, I forgot to do the con save. Here it comes. Both parties chilling. Oh, he passes the con save, so he's not bleeding anymore. Okay. We uh, have... Can my movement be disengage? You no, need, you an, need action. an action to disengage. I mean, you can take the risk if you want. Do you? Oh, wait, hang you, on. Uh, if you move round, you can use Pontus for advantage. Yeah, but I already ha have it. Oh, yeah, actually, that would have the advantage of not giving an advantage on my attacks. But yeah, I'll move to the, this way. And cool. Pontos would have advantage to try and compensate for all of his deficiencies at the moment. Um, he is certainly somewhat deficient. Okay, uh, that, that that's it. That's, that's all I got. <laughs> Someone get the healer back up. Cool. 
so that brings us around to the beginning of the turn. But we will mm -hmm. resume next time. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. I've just realized there's legendary actions. I need to do a legendary action before we finish. So. Nice. And I'm sure that will add some excitement. So, for a legendary action, I have a choice of three possible things. So, I'm going to do a D3. One. It's a tail attack. The tail attack is 20 feet range. I already said that he's on the deck, so it's going to be one of three. So it's either oh, it's either Who's Borin, down? it's either Borin, Pontos, or Jew Bacon, and we're going to go from left to right: Borin, Pontos, Jew Bacon, in that order. So that's Pontos. Pontos is getting hit by a tail, okay. or he's getting attacked by a tail. Anyway, whether he gets hit by the tail, we do not know. How's everyone doing on HP? Um, well, Pontos might be ending up on one after this uh, slap. So this is uh, with disadvantage due to the uh, hot, metal. hot metal wire. Mm -hmm. It's a miss! It's a Christmas <laughs> miracle! Uh, Why is Pontos' armor class so high? Oh, yeah, because he's got, like, defense and all that malarkey. Yeah, and the infusions. Yep. So, I mean, that's that. So, at the beginning of the next session, he will have his full set of legendary what's -its back again. Mm -hmm. Let's do some awards. Yep. So, let's make Kevin invisible. Bye-bye. Ching. Then well, we okay, to... damage dealer, we know who goes to that. Yeah, but it's obviously uh, uh, assist. assist. <laughs> yeah. Short, um, the wrong one. followed by um, Yorl. 100%. Pontos is in my show as well, though. <laughs> <laughs> Right, I need to copy the list. Copy. Enter. Scroll down. Paste. Today's date is the 8th of August 2024. So we have a list and I also need to get onto OBS so that I can turn on the visibility Okay, tactical genius. Who be a tactical genius? Um, I'm going to say uh, Duke on this one because he was the first one to do the uh, old beast and then the psychic glances. So he, he was being quite tactical there. Yeah, I think hold hold a monster is probably the the best thing you guys have done in the session. Because it has prevented you from um, having the snot kicked out of you, more than likely. So, <laughs> kill of the week. We ain't got no kills. Well, you killed the uh, pig. Yeah. We don't have a yoink award to award either, so... That one's going. Kill from the grave. Oh, this nope. is a strike for that yoink. Say that again? I said, don't worry, Clestis is trying for that yoink. Mm. <laughs> damage dealer. It's so, close. Nominations for yeah. damage dealer. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, the yeah. boat. Yeah, I, I think Eric may have just got that one. Just. Maybe just. Maybe just. Um, what with his about 2,000 damage, I think. My God Slayer dagger. Dun, dun, dun. Best supporting role. Uh, I'm 
Ooh, um, it's either it's either Duke for his inspirations that, or Callistus for his healing and his mysterious potions. Uh, I rezzed the pig. That's pretty much the oh. most supportive thing I've done. Yeah, but there was also like I said, also your mysterious potion as well for uh, support. I got Is plenty of them. They they do fun stuff. <laughs> Just ask, I can make a bunch more so, as long as I have level one spell slots. <laughs> That's definitely a Clastus then. Okay, who has a cunning plan, my lord? Um, um, heat metal. Oh yeah, that is true. Mm. It was a bit of a setup because it was uh, the harpoon and then the heat metal. Yeah, and it's keeping him still. Yeah. And I don't know how good keeping it still is doing, though. Not gonna lie. It is. It's very good, actually. I mean, if he was moving around a lot and uh, shooting water water jets at you. Yeah. Yeah, we'd be dead by now. He's only managed to do it twice. You guys have suppressed my powers. Grr. <laughs> good. Right, role player of the week. Not really one to go for. Just stab, stab, and stab. Yeah. Okay, let's NA that one then. Okay, and uh, rather disappointingly, we we can't have the um, the friendly fire award either. The whose side are you on award? I've still got a fire award for lazy. Don't worry. Nice. So, sorry about all the yawning. It's been a long day. I've not got much left in the tank. So, who gets the pincushion award? Pontos? Maybe? Or is it... Uh, uh, think, is it Orin? Did Juke take that full 94? Yeah. Yeah, that was quite painful. That's the highest single hit, isn't it? Um, mm -hmm. uh, I, th I think for all the self-inflicted uh, work, Pontos might get the pincushion. Because the poor boy, he's in no fit state, no matter what. I could have been insta-killed if I didn't have that uh, res. It wouldn't have insta-killed you, because to insta-kill you, it would have to do your maximum hit points in damage and your current hit points in damage. So to insta-kill Borin, it would have to be over 150 damage with you on like zero hit points or one hit point. So it's close. We are close. It's quite hard to insta kill um, characters at your level, but you're trying. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying. <laughs> so pincushion award. Do we reckon Pontos or do we reckon Borin or do we reckon Duke? Uh, I I'm not sure on the maths of it. I said just because all of the Bane and everything, that's why I was going to volunteer uh, uh, Pontos, because he's, he's just in a poor boy state. Yeah, I mean, he's been beaten up and he's got some nasty effects on him, so maybe we mm -hmm. should give that one to Pontos. Cause he's I've been the... killing myself slowly trying to get this guy. <laughs> yeah, but you're also healing, healing yourself at the same point. Uh, sure. Okay, we have a full set of 10 awards awarded. Hmm. So sure. let's make that disappear again. So, I think that is about all we've got time for. So let's uh, let's reconvene in seven of your Earth days and see whether we can polish this off. Hopefully, um, hopefully we will have a full set or close to a full set next week. Sadly, Ryan couldn't join us tonight um, as he had to work. But fingers crossed he'll be with us next week. It would have been a shame for him to miss the uh, the the the, uh, the finale so looks like we might have him after all have a lovely week everybody and yep. you too catch you, you later. next week it's pretty catch you next week big, big bad guy in it yeah cool cheers bye bye bye, bye. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.